YouTube. Um, yeah, good morning. What an intro. You're going to be catching me making coffee, which is just on the boil now. Um, I'm a little bit annoyed with my audio at the minute. I think it's this iPhone, um, which is a bit frustrating when the crackling happens. Um, but there's not a lot I can do about that. So hopefully, it's a bit intermittent, so hopefully it, uh, it won't be too bad. If it gets, starts getting too bad, uh, then I'll have, to, I'll have to get a new phone. Um, but hey, we're here. We're here today. Um, and I realized actually on this Saturday morning, these, these YouTubes will be Monday to Friday mainly, but I'm enjoying them. So while I'm enjoying them, I'm, I'm gonna keep posting um, and keep sharing some of uh, the barking dog knowledge that I've got. So again, I didn't really have a topic to discuss today. I, um, check this out, check this out, see if... Come on, little man on his new bed. It's got little reindeers on it. It's got little reindeers on it, look. What do you reckon, Diggs? It's like, I'm not awake yet, mom. Look at the state of my wall as well. Aren't dogs so dirty? In fact, let me move it over here whilst I make my uh, my brew. Let's put you there. Okay. Um, so yeah, I didn't really have a topic to discuss this morning. I just came in here to uh, put my laundry away, <laughs> and I ended up hitting record. And here we are. So what can we talk about? Well, I guess a good way to round the week off is to look at some of the topics that we've discussed perhaps share uh, and comment i think there's a comment box under here what's been your favorite one so far analyze analyze what um what you've liked what you weren't sure and perhaps what you didn't like comment tell me um excuse the classical music in the background as well it uh i don't know i just put it on <laughs> um I like to analyse, this can be the topic actually, I like to analyse my weeks and most Sundays I sit down with a pen and paper and I have a look at what I've done. So at the minute I'm in more of an intense training programme myself. So although I do some training every day with the dogs, be that, um, I say training, I do work with the dogs, whether that's scatter feeding whether it's a centre bed, um, whether it's just a chill out time. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> These dogs would be the death of me. Let me get my hay fever tablet. Have I got one left in there? I've got one left in there. <laughs> let, me just, let me just get this tablet down. Um, so yeah, analysing and seeing what worked and what didn't. I do this a lot. <coughs> there we go. I swear these dogs are trying to kill me. Um, I do this a lot with um, what I've done during the week, obviously um, in the training that I'm doing, is am I getting the progress that I want from my dog? If not, how can I change it? How can I improve? Um, and also obviously, I am self-employed, so I do it on a business level as well. Um, and it really starts to bring, it's actually quite interesting when you start to um, analyze and look at, look at the results or lack of results that you've perhaps got that week. So I like to set myself uh, goals. And one of the, like the main goal I've got at the minute, I'm calling it Operation Armour. It involves Hunter, my youngest shepherd. Um, now I got to my first goal with him of being able to go out on a nice walk. He was highly reactive as a bit of a backstory. Uh, all I wanted was a nice peaceful walk to be able to pass all the dogs. I didn't expect him or didn't want to expect him to be able to deal with every dog. You know, some dogs can can learn to, some dogs don't want to be bothered and don't want to be, Alexa, stop. Um, I just wanted him to be able to cope. Oh, there's a dog over there. Yeah, I can cope with that. Distance is right. I'm feeling okay. I know there's a tasty reward coming. Um, 
so that was my initial goal that I reached. Now, being greedy and <laughs> being a dog trainer, I set myself um, another task and another goal. I don't think you ever stop dog training, I ever stop learning. And there's never really any end to how far you can progress yourself. So I find that a lot of pet owners just want their dog to listen to them, uh, perhaps walk nicely on a lead. Like I've just said, be able to pass another dog without the dramatics happening at the end of the lead. Uh, coming back when called is another one. Uh, the regular sit down, stay and, and all that sort of stuff. Pet dog, pet dog training, which is cool and it's useful because we need we need to have some rules installed. And of course, we, you know, we like spending time with the dog and training. Um, but what I find and what I find in my uh, elite members, in my evolution members and anyone that kind of comes into my world, we start off with this really achievable goal of I just want I just want my dog to listen to me. And then we get that. OK. So the dog can listen to us now when we're out in the garden. Can he do it when you're on a walk? Can he do it um, when a rabbit runs out in front of you? Can he do it when he sees all the dogs playing across the, the park? Can he do it um, in the, obviously COVID permitting at the minute with the people, but can he do it in higher distracting environments where there's perhaps a hundred people? Um, you know, so you can progress and progress and progress and, and then per perfect the, simple behavior of getting your dog to listen to you um a classic one i'm dealing with at the minute um with little motley he's a french bulldog i think french bulldog or what's the other one um staying calm when someone comes look at that there is that bleach oh, I swear to God. um staying calm when someone comes in so he can he can go to his place when it's just him and his owner there and whoever lives in the house but then when uh, I think it's the granddaughter or the niece or something comes around, he loses his shit. So that's an achievable goal. Right, let's get him calmer when she comes around. And if he can do it when she comes around, what's that message come through? Oh, I'm just seeing, just, just seeing that message come through and just having a glance. Um, so yeah, you can progress and progress and progress. And to continue being able to progress, we need to keep track of where we're at. So coming back to Hunter, I fly off in different directions in the morning. Clearly, that's obviously a pattern I've got. Um, coming back to Hunter, so we got our first goal of being able to walk. So my next goal for him now, now that his mindset uh, and his emotional response to the outside world is much calmer and much more confident in um, how we are as, as, a, as a team, now I know that he can listen to me, now that I know that we can pass another dog, uh, at a certain distance, you know, across the road is about our, our distance at the minute. Um, what's next? So how can I progress that again? Well, the biggest concern that I have when I'm out there is off-lead dogs, to be honest with you. There's so many off-lead dogs that are out of control um, and just friendly. <laughs> and I get it. There are dogs out there who are friendly and will come over to another dog to say hello politely. But when the dog and it's normally your dog who's on the lead, who's just struggling, not struggling, probably just learning to be able to cope in the world and to be able to stay under distance threshold, to be able to listen to you even though there's something going over there. It can be very difficult when an off lead dog comes over because it can get quite dangerous because then your dog's like, whoa, I could cope with you over there, but I cannot cope with you here. You're like in my zone. Um, so that's my next port of progress, is to be able to deal with, like, the hunter has had off-lead dogs come over to him. Um, and I don't think on recollection, oh, there's been one where he really couldn't cope, uh, two bouncy Labradors, so there was two of them. But he has had dogs come over to him and sniff him and, and everything's been okay because of the dog that's come over wasn't out of control if you like but when we get to the like bouncy dogs the dogs that come up and bark and rah, 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 and circle around that's fucking difficult for any dog to deal with i can't believe the amount of dog hairs in my coffee um but especially knowing my own dog and knowing that he's confident he's not that confident to be able to deal with that he's a big dog he's got to be 45 kilos um, me trying to control him, it gets dangerous very quickly. So that's my next set of goals. Can he deal with... 
can he deal with an awfully dog like charging up over to him circling him and barking that's going to take some work um and like i said coming back to the whole planning thing and analyzing thing for me to get to that goal i need to keep a track of where we're at so like if you look through my um my phone like it's probably 90 percent training videos i always record when i train um generally speaking i'm recording for my own benefit so i can look back on it and go okay oh, i missed that mark there i could he could have been tighter in this position here um what took his focus away from me there what you know that sort of thing oh there was a biscuit on the floor or whatever um and i can see so i can improve on the next one i also take a lot of videos obviously because i'm a dog trainer and i've got an online um, training community where I record stuff for other people. Um, so yeah, it's like 90% videos, but videoing your sessions is huge. Like I probably spend a good half an hour, if not an hour every Sunday, just with a pen and paper, marking down what I've done, what progress I got, where I can improve. Um, and it's really useful to see and, and to check back on the previous week's ones. Now, you don't have to go to the extent that I've gone to, like Spreadsheet City. <laughs> um, but it's worth doing and it's worth noting. I think it's very easy um, for any dog in training, but especially for barking dogs to start off and you start off great, you get really nice progress and on you go and on you go and then all of a sudden, boom, you have a bad, bad day. And Irregardless of whether you've had three days of really good walks or three weeks of really good walks, that one collision, that incident, incident, <laughs> incident, um, you will remember that as opposed to everything else that's happened. Um, so that's another reason why I do it is to just not get caught up in when, when things go wrong, because things do go wrong. You know, at the end of the day, we're only human and they're only dogs. Um, and we all have days where we're not feeling so great, especially this time of year. This is like top of mind for me at the minute. It's cold, it's dark, it's wet, it's miserable. Um, and that plays an impact on, on, on your mindset sort of thing. So yeah, that can be today's lesson, I think, over my coffee that I haven't drunk yet. <laughs> Keep track of your analytics. Keep track of where you're at, your progress. Uh, and where you want to improve, I think it's very important to have um, something to look at. So every morning I have a, well, it's, it, it could look a bit nicer, but it's a cardboard, just a bit of old cardboard, what I've written on. And it has my goal Z, listed on there. So every morning when I wake up and I reach for my phone to turn that annoying alarm clock off, it's like, do, 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 get up, you lazy cow. <laughs> I see my goal there when I wake up. So it's this fresh point of mind. Um, and I think it's this that keeps me going. Obviously, I love dog training um, and I love helping other people with their dogs, but it takes real determination and focus to stick to the plan. Um, and to, yeah, to make sure that you're heading in the right direction, I guess. Um, so I'll leave it there. I'm gonna go and put my laundry away now and finish my rather large mug of coffee. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're enjoying these YouTube chats. Let me know if there's anything that you want me to cover. Um, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of the episodes uh, coming up. Chat soon.